to challenge our bunch to a knot tie-in contest. We need a volunteer. Trooper, I volunteer you. Okay, Fleek, wait till they see my triple granny knot. <laughs> He'll probably get a knot on his head. Why, you just can't do this to me. <laughs> yeah! That's an ooch! Ooh, that's a double ooch! <laughs> Who won, Trooper? It was a tie. The Arabian Nights, next. We must not return empty-handed. Ahmed Kabul would be enraged. Look, below us are tents. Good. We will take whatever is of value. some sleeping oafs. Look in the other tents. What's this? The stupid donkey. Out of there. What's wrong, Kazoo? Look, the Sky Raiders. Kabul's men, probably working for Bakar. Let me go. 
Let me go. They have taken Nida. We'll follow them to their fortress. Quickly, Farik. Something to fly on. Ah, I have just the thing. Rosanne Cobar. <laughs> The journey will be dangerous, but comfortable. You have done well, my raiders, and you will be amply rewarded. Let me reward your big apes for you. Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh! <laughs> So, a slave with spirit. You will bring a fine price from Bakar's slave auction. I wouldn't count your gold coins yet, evil one. The Arabian Nights will free me. You are wrong. The way to my fortress is a deadly one. No one has ever survived it. We are nearing the Sky Raiders' fortress, so be on guard. Company, the giant bats. Let the ugly ones come. I will deal with them. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Watch me, Razine. I'll show you how it's done. This is where I get off. <laughs> Here, pillow! Your pillows are well trained, Farik. Thank you, Tarhan. But unfortunately, they tear! <laughs> that timely catch, Zazu. <laughs> They won't catch us. Away, Zazu! Uh-oh. Now, let us find Nida. Fortress will not be an easy task. Ah, but you forget the strength of Rasim. No, Rasim, the noise will alert the sentry. But not if the sentry cannot hear. Rosan Korkapopis. Thank you, Farik. The time has come for you to be taken to Bakar's slave market. And where are those Arabian nights you boast of? You should look to the top of your stairs, Kabul. The Arabian nights are here! Seize them! Sky Raiders, your swords! Size of a hippopotamus! A good thing I didn't come down head first. Quickly, Nida, the stairs! They must not escape! Search the fortress! Which way did they go, old woman? That way. Follow me! Old 
old woman. There are no old women in our fortress. After her! Old man, which way did the old woman go? That way. Follow me! <laughs> that got them out of the way. Your disguises have them running in circles, Nida. Turhan, look! We have stumbled upon the Sky Raider's stolen fortune. Then we must see that it is returned to its rightful owners before Bakar gets his hands on it. We must set a trap. You clods! What do you mean you can't find them? Search every inch of the fortress. <clears throat> Pardon me, but can you tell me how to get out of here? One of the Arabian Nights. Take him! Kabul commands you. After him! A thousand headaches! I have angered them. The plan is working. Here comes Turhan now. Get ready, Bez. Size of an ape! <laughs> Now the rest is up to you, Farik, and Zazun. Do not worry. I guarantee you our secret weapon will work. Even though Zazun knows nothing about it. He is going into the treasure room. A foolish mistake. Now we have you trapped. <laughs> Now, Farik, unleash your powers, Azum! Are you ready for eight? Ready to hand. Our caravan will be a welcome sight to the people of the desert. And Kabul will be a welcome sight to the jailer. I promise you, you will pay. <laughs> <laughs> Gliding through the meadows all through the 
Here's Flegel, your banana splits reporter with the latest news. A flash. Miss Georgia May Twittle has just returned from Hollywood where she made her first picture. And here, folks, is the picture that Miss Twistle has made in Hollywood. <laughs> we are all very, very happy for Miss Twittle. The picture arrived from the drugstore moments before we went on the air. Uh-oh, Chongo! It's Danger Island next! As you remember, Morgan, Link, and Chongo routed Mutan and his pirates and rescued Professor Hayden and his daughter, Leslie. Learning that a boat Morgan and Chongo discovered three years earlier may have belonged to Hayden's long-missing brother, they returned to the cave, hoping to find a clue, unaware of the dangers that lie ahead. on the old shoulders. the way you came up. Would you believe an elevator? You happen to have one? Stand clear below. Okay. Here we go. Sorry. It only carries two at a time. All right, Link, Leslie, go on. The both of you get in. I'll come up last. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you're almost there, Leslie. Ready to come up, Doc? Fourth floor, toys, cot. Third floor, men's clothes. Second floor, ladies' lingerie. Bargain basement. Okay, Doc, in you go. Okay. Okay, Doc. Come up where the rich people live. <laughs> Hang on, Doc. Hang on. Yeah, Dad. Keep cool, Doctor. Morgan, Morgan, help! You've got to save him. Are you all right, Daddy? Tongo, get me the rope. Have you up in a minute, Doctor? Okay, Chango, down the rope. Easy now. Easy, Chango. Easy. Watch it. Be careful, Chango. Careful. Come on, you guys. Quit playing. Link, give me a hand. Okay, Doc. Up you come. That's it. You got it now. Okay, Doc. Up you come. Allie. Oop. Oh. Oh. Good work, Chongo. And now it's...
it's time for Dear Drooper. All righty. Dear Drooper, I live on a big ranch. How can I count all the cows quickly? Easy. Just count their hoofs and divide by four. <laughs> Making up a mess of fun, lots of fun for everyone. 